हाई एवरी वन इट्स मी योर मनू इशू एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मनू इशू ए सी सी क्लासेस सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डन द क्वेश्चन इज हेयर इवेंट्स राइट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी मूविंग अहेड एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस इज पर्टिकुलरली फ्रॉम द टॉपिक सी बी पी एनालिसिस सो क्वेश्चन इज कार्डियो कंपनी ओके सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन I mean, first requirement. Which of the following are valid factor to consider in decision to cease the production of elliptical trainer at the end of two zero x five? Okay, so let's read the question. What the question is saying? Cardio company manufacture uh, four types of a fitness equipment. So, what is the equipment types? Equipment types is. Uh, Uh, first is uh, E, uh, which stand for elliptical trainer. Then treadmill C, and after that we have a cross trainer C and row machines as a R. So I have only taken the first word of the each equipment. Okay. <coughs> so these are the basically types of equipment are manufactured by the cardio company. Cardio company is considering ceasing to produce the electrical uh, trainer at the end of two zero x five. So company is planning to cease or not to produce any more the electrical trainer. So at the end of two zero x five, the budgeted selling price and volume for the next year two zero x six are as follows. So basically, the detail of the selling price units given for the next year, which is two thousand x six. So selling price uh, and we do have a total sales. Okay, so the selling price is for the per unit. Okay, so be uh, sure at this point, ये आपका चार सौ बीस यूनिट. Sorry, sorry, electrical तो सी हो चुका है. So treadmill का चार सौ बीस. And if we talk about the selling price, it's sixteen hundred. And the total sales is multiplication of these two. Okay, so it's six seven two triple zero. Similarly, for the country, uh, uh, cross trainer, it's four hundred unit, and the selling price is eighteen hundred. And multiplying these two, we will get the our total sales revenue, which is given in the question as well already calculated. So three eighty unit for the R R E stands for raw machines. Okay, so its uh, selling price is fourteen hundred, and the multiplication of these two, we will get the selling price. So this basically uh, information is given in the question. So standard cost cut for the each product is as follows. So we do have given the direct material. And uh, for the treadmill, it's four uh, thirty, <coughs> okay. And then for mm, okay, and for the cross trader, it's five uh, hundred and three sixty for the roy, okay. So now direct labor. Okay, and we do have given a variable overheads. Okay, we will make a one column for the variable overhead as well. Variable overhead. Okay, and direct labor is two uh, twenty. Okay, two uh, forty then one ninety. Okay, so variable overhead is hundred ten. Hundred twenty and ninety five. Labor cost are sixty percent fixed and forty percent variable. It means labor cost is your semi variable cost. So where there is fixed element as well as variable element. So we will calculate the separately fixed cost and the variable cost. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, fixed sixty uh, percent of the labor cost is fixed. So sixty percent, okay, and variable is forty percent. Tick. Total. Hmm. Okay, two twenty we are getting exactly. Okay, so again. Uh, sixty percent is fixed and forty percent is variable, right? Okay, so some of these two, it should be two forty. Again, uh, sixty percent is fixed and forty percent is variable, right? 
so okay some of these two <laughs> 122 no no it should be 190 uh, okay one zero i miss it here okay so we got it okay general fixed overhead excluding any fixed labor cost are expected to be 55000 theek hai so general fixed overhead excluding the labor one it is uh 55000 okay so if we we will include the labor one labor one fixed cost So what will be the total fixed cost? Okay, so fixed cost it uh, it's of hundred thirty two and multiplying it with the respective unit. Okay. Okay. So total we got it. so total uh, fixed cost we got it okay so okay so there is nothing mentioned about the uh, or any kind of information not given about the uh, elliptical trainer right so we need what uh, the option is saying we have to eliminate and find accordingly okay <coughs> So question a uh, first option carry the elliptical trainer made a loss in 20x5 and question care which of the following are valid factor to consider in the decision to seize the production elliptical trainer at the end of 20x5 which of the followings are the valid one means out of these five option which one is valid valid to be considered uh, regarding the decision to seize the production of this kind of equipment okay the first is the elliptical trainer made a loss in 20x5 so basically this is not valid uh, as the elliptical trainer uh, uh, because it's a past loss it will not uh, uh, and contribute because because it is irrelevant as this is a past information this is irrelevant for decision making so we won't consider it to be valid okay uh, then elliptical trainer made a positive contribution in the year just past this is also a past decision or past uh, information past uh, information regarding the past events so we, it will not also consider uh, to be a valid to make a decision so it is irrelevant for decision making and this thing will be more clear if uh, you have done with the chapter relevant costing one okay so uh, third point the elliptical trainer market outlook in the long term looks very poor the elliptical trainer uh, mar trainer market outlook in long term looks very poor so basically this is talking about the future and in future so uh, if the in, in long term if the electrical uh, uh, trainer will um, looks very poor so it's very relevant for the decision making okay so this is uh, uh, somehow true uh, the cardio company also sells a treadmill and many electrical trainer buy will also buy a trade a uh, mill set mm, the cardio company x cannot so this is also basically related to the future one decision so this is also gonna be relevant to us uh, five the business was founded to produce and sell electrical trainer so this is about the, uh, the when the company was uh, the business was founded so it is a past decision it is gonna be not ma uh, make a, any uh, relevant point in the decision making so this is irrelevant okay okay so what the next is saying which of the following statement about relevant costing are true the fixed costs are always greater in nature therefore never relevant so 
so generally fixed cost which is general in nature is not uh, uh, relevant but in case of a incremental fixed cost uh, that's going to be relevant for us okay but the question has not clarified that so uh, if here we assume that the fixed cost is uh, overall general one so it is not going to be relevant to us okay and we can't say never be relevant it will be re relevant but in case of a incremental fixed cost okay Nominal cost are always relevant as they make the estimate more realistic. Nominal cost are uh, not a relevant one. It's not a, a really uh, nominal cost generally. Uh, it's a irrelevant for decision making. So this is also not a relevant. Uh, here the question is saying uh, always relevant, which will not be case. So the uh, these are not real cash flow, so they are not considered to be the relevant one. Okay. Opportunity cost represent the cost of best alternative foregone. Obviously, uh, in op in opportunity cost, uh, just ne F M par par liya hoga ya fir M A me bhi aap logon ne is issue cover kiya hai. For example, you have a five thousand in the bank, ठीक है? और वहाँ से आपको interest आ रही है. But if you use that money to buy any machine, जो आपको interest मिल रही थी, वो तो अब नहीं मिलेगी. That's the opportunity cost. Okay? So ये वही बोल रहा है. Cost represent the cost of best alternative foregone. या फिर जैसे आप ये भी कह सकते हो कि आपको दो काइंड का जॉब आया एक में हायर सैलरी था एक लोअर सैलरी था बट लोअर सैलरी में आपका लाइक सिक्योरिटी था तो आप स्विच नहीं किया तो जो आपका लाइक हायर सैलरी जो दे रखा जो एम्प्लॉयर दूसरा वाला वो तो चला गया ना वो ऑप्शन आपके हाथ से दैट्स अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट For avoidable cost could be saved if any एक्टिविटी डिड नॉट हैपन एंड देयर फोर आर रिलीवेंट ऑब्वियसली ये तो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड ही है ये सब रिलीवेंट कॉस्टिंग से रिलेटेड है Uh, if you have done that with that chapter, आपको ये अच्छे से आ जाएगा Okay. So what is the margin of safety in dollar revenue for the cardio company in two zero at six? Okay. So margin of safety is uh, cardio company के लिए निकालना है, but company have a three product. So this is the case of a multiple product, right? So what we need is हम लोगों को पहले BP dollar में चाहिए BP revenue in dollar. And for that, what we need, we need a fixed cost amount and CS ratio, weighted CS ratio, है ना? So we know the fixed cost amount. The total fixed cost amount is uh, we have calculated. So now, weighted CS निकालते हैं. And weighted CS के लिए क्या चाहिए? We need a total contribution. ठीक है? And total contribution कैसे आएगा? Uh, we know the uh, we haven't calculated i think contribution amount just a bit first of all we need to calculate contribution amount okay okay so contribution for one unit we know the selling price it's 1600 minus the direct material cost and direct labor only fixed one then variable overheads copy shift <laughs> okay so we got the contribution in one unit so now we can calculate total contribution for one unit contribution in 972 and what is the number of unit it's 420 similarly aapka 14 Into E four plus F fourteen into F four. Okay, so this is our total contribution. Then total sales. Total sales. के लिए we know the selling price and it's given already given in the question, right? Yeah, we will add all these simply. ठीक है? So weighted C by S ratio. and it's in the dollar right sabse pehle dollar mein badalte hain and this one is in the percentage so 61 percentage point pe hoga ha to round up hua hai okay so bp sales in dollar <laughs> kaise aayega fixed cost divided by weighted average contribution to sales ratio to ya gaya bp sales 
सो वॉट इज आवर टोटल सेल्स टोटल सेल्स एडिंग ऑल दिस ठीक है टोटल सेल्स वी गॉट टू नो एंड वी इवन नो आवर बी पी सेल्स सो आपका मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी इन डॉलर विल बी सब्स टू इट्स वन फाइव सेवन सेवन जीरो फोर वन राउंडिंग ऑफ वी विल गेट द ऑलमोस्ट डी ठीक है ओके सो फोर नंबर वाट वुड हैपन टू द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इफ द प्रोडक्ट वो आर शोल्ड इन इन ऑर्डर ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रॉफिटेबल प्रोडक्ट फर्स्ट द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट वुड रिच अर्लियर रिच लेटर ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट वुड बी रिच एट द सेम टाइम एज इन द ग्राफ एव एंड द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट वुड नेवर बी रिच ओके सो बेसिकली इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सोल ए मोस्ट प्रॉफिटेबल प्रोडक्ट इन दैट केस वॉट हैपन कि आपका जो ज़्यादा प्रॉफिट आएगा मोस्ट प्रॉफिटेबल प्रोडक्ट सेल करोगे तो यू विल गेट द मोर प्रॉफिट एंड मोर प्रॉफिट आएगा तो आपका फिक्स कॉस्ट क्या होगा जल्दी रिकवर होगा एंड फिक्स कॉस्ट रिकवर करना मीन्स यू आर एट द नो प्रॉफिट नो लॉस सो ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट विल बी रिच अर्लियर ठीक है इफ यू जैसे कि आपका लाइक हम लोग रैंकिंग भी करते हैं प्रोडक्ट में क्या करते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू सी एस रिश्व करते हैं ना रैंकिंग सो अगर लाइक उसी के प्रायोरिटी के अकॉर्डिंग वी वी गोना भी सेल दैट प्रोडक्ट राइट इफ अगर प्रायोरिटी के अकॉर्डिंग सेल नहीं करेंगे इन दैट केस आवर बी पी विल बी लेटर सो ठीक है यहाँ तक ओके सो नेक्स्ट है विच स्टेटमेंट करेक्टली डिस्क्राइब द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ जनरल फिक्स ओवर हेड वेन प्रिपेयरिंग द हार्ट कंपनी कोटेशन ओवर हेड शुड बी एक्सक्लूडेड बिकॉज दे आर सन कॉस्ट एक सेकेंड ओवर हेड शुड बी एक्सक्लूडेड विच आर द फॉलोइंग करेक्टली डिस्क्राइब ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ जनरल फिक्स ओवर हेड वेन प्रिपेयरिंग द हार्ट कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन दी है आई कैन स्किप इट लेट्स सी अ कार्ड कंपनी रिसीव्ड ए रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द कस्टमर हार्ट कंपनी टू प्रोवाइड ए वन ऑफ द फिटनेस मशीन टीशर इन एक्सेस ऑफ द नॉर्मल बजटेड प्रोडक्शन टू जीरो एक्सेंड द कंपनी वुड नीड टू कंप्लीट दिस विद इन द टू वीक्स ओके सो कहता है कि विच स्टेटमेंट करेक्टली डिस्क्राइब द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ जनरल फिक्स ओवर हेड वेन प्रिपेयरिंग द हार्ट कंपनी कोटेशन अब जनरल फिक्स हेड को हम लोग तभी एक्सक्लूड करेंगे वेन इन दैट केस इट्स नॉट ए इंक्रीमेंटल आई टोल ना कि इंक्रीमेंटल अगर फिक्स ओवर हेड का ऐसे दैट इज रिलीवेंट अगर इंक्रीमेंटल नहीं है तो वो हमारे लिए रिलीवेंट नहीं है तब हम लोग एक्सक्लूड करेंगे सो ठीक है नाउ यू कैन एनालाइज द रेस्ट ऑफ द ऑप्शन ओके so in next video we will do ka kara company so tab tak stay tuned with my channel